All right, so this is our one-up box for September 2015. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. There is a theme to this box, and I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to find out when I first open it up. And I've learned from my first unboxing video that uh, it's not... It's not good to not show people the first impression of the inside of the box when you pop it open. So I'm going to try and get better at this. I'm not like an Ashens or anything. Uh, I'm not practiced in the ways of opening things. But I'll learn eventually, I hope. So you got, you're actually going to see it before I do. Whoa! Oh, there's like a little plush thing in there. That's cool. Hold it up for you for a sec. It looks like there's, well, there's obviously a t-shirt involved. Love Ashens. Yeah, Ashens is great. I actually have, uh, I've learned to love him quite a bit as well. I was watching quite a few videos of him with Lynn when we were out and about. So first of all, well, you can see I've got a Minecraft sheepy in here, which is great. Who doesn't love the sheepies? Oh my goodness, there's, there's a pixelated bow tie in here too. We're gonna have to bust these open and have a play with these. You have the exact same little useless knife. <laughs> it's good for opening boxes, really. And uh, it's got that little nail file on there, too, which I've used quite a bit. What is going on in this box? I'm just trying to get the piece of paper out of the bottom. Oh, there's like a Kirby? Build your own Kirby. We're doing unintentionally. I'm just trying to get the, the theme designation out of the bottom, and I'm, I'm unintentionally opening the entire thing. Okay, here it is. So it's the uh, the Pixels theme from September 2015. So number one, we have one of four uh, possible... Oh, I'm not even holding that in frame properly. One of four Minecraft plushes. I got the sheep. There was also a bat, a... Uh, what is it? A, the stoat or something, right? It's, and then there's the octopus and the sheepy. Uh, which I, I like the sheepy. I think he's pretty cool. Honestly, the, the polecat or the stoat or whatever this dude's supposed to be, he's pretty cool too, though. Uh, I don't know if you can see it if I turn it around for you, but there's the various options over here. See, that's the one. The yellow one there is pretty cool. Um, the second thing is there's a pixel sword necklace. Okay, so that must be that bag that looked like a bunch of chains. Yeah, it's a stoat, I guess? A type of weasel? Some kind of thing like that. Uh, so yeah, the pixel sword necklace, it looks like a pixelated master sword, kind of. Is the whole thing Minecraft themed? No, not the whole thing. It just sort of seems like it is. The sword looks a little bit Minecrafty. Uh, three is our QB paper craft, so that's the Kirby that we saw. Number four is the 8-bit bow tie. I'm gonna have to bust that open, try it on right now. Uh, five is some 8-bit stickers, and six is an exclusive, a bit crazy shirt. Oh, it's like a whole mishmash of variety of things in there. All right, so on the shirt, I mean. Let's bust this sucker open here. Yeah, it's an Adam Sandler themed box, of course. It's a revolver ocelot. Oh, that's the it's the ocelot. That's right. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, this is actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> this is gonna be extra funny if I try to put this on over my headset. Give me one sec here. Let me take this off. Oh, yeah. Now I look like a proper gent. Proper gent. I go... How do you like that? Yeah. It's too bad it can't spin in place. That could be a whole nother level. I'll leave that on for a second, because it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Dapper AF. Okay, I'm quite a fan, actually, of these little stickers. They're quite cute. Oh my goodness, there's like a lot of cool dudes on here. Here, have a look. So I don't know if you can see, but there's like a Batman and a Joker, Two-Face and Robin. It looks like Flash. I don't know who the dude there is. Oh, it's Superman. Okay, I couldn't tell from the camera. Uh, then we've got Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, Thor. I guess that's uh, Arrow Man. Spider-Man, Venom, Deadpool, Wolverine, Cyclops. Like a whole bunch of cool people in there. This is Finn and Jake. 
The ones at the bottom, you can see this Ninja Turtle is like a Pikachu. It's not really zooming properly the way I'd like. I think that's Harry Potter in the corner there. Is that supposed to be Link? If that's Link, the, the colors are a little odd. <laughs> you know. Is that Human Torch? Dude's on fire. Oh yeah, it's got a four on it, so it's yeah, it's got to be. And there's one that just looks like a red Power Ranger. This one right here, is this a red Power Ranger? Looks kind of like it. Next to Mega Man there. Oh yeah, they arranged the Fantastic Four into the set of four there. Okay, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Do the Jake though? Look at Jake. He's, like, way more realistic than the other ones compared comparatively. He also doesn't have, like, dark-colored jowls. But I guess you can't really do much with pixel art when you have so few colors to work with. I don't know. Yeah, it's just kind of a cute little touch. And we got this little Kirby dude here. Let's see if I can put this together. Do I see a Shrek? I'm sure we all wish we could see a Shrek right now, yeah. To very carefully pull these out without ripping the edges off, because I'm not sure which edges I'm going to end up needing. So you can make a little box Kirby. Also, the sweet jazz music is eventually going to end, and then we have to figure out what to do next with it. Eh, you know what? Just for the sake of argument, just push it back a ways. Start over. Try again. Round two. Alright, got all of that off. Start folding all the tabs in. This is just one got a little bit ripped, but it's not bad. Hopefully this doesn't require actual instructions. If I can't fold a freaking box, who knows where I'll be. But it does require instructions. Well, first of all, let's just fold these tabs in. Now we're fine. I got this under control. It's just freaking box. there. Wait, really? Oh, okay. It's kind of got to interlock on the last one. Otherwise, I guess it would just pop back open again. Almost. There's also little feedies, too. Let's see if I can get those in there. What are you? We're building, like, a little square Kirby right now. Almost. Last tab. I know this looks, like, super obvious on how you would build it. There we go. But, uh... Oh. <laughs> Sides are kind of popping back out again. Alright, so I made a little cube, man. Let's get the feetsies on there, too. And I'll go right here somewhere. There we go. Uh, well, the whole thing's kind of opening up by itself. Yeah, there we are. Pretty cute. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. Next thing... We've got the It's Dangerous to Go Alone Take This Necklace, which is our 1-Up Box exclusive item. This actually looks fairly heavy. Uh, is there an easy way to open this? Oh, yeah, here we go. Wait. Ah, there we are. Oh, well, I kind of shredded it by accident. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Oh, it's actually pretty nice. Check it out. 
It's heavier metal than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to feel a little bit light, but no, it's actually fairly substantial. Let's see if I can show you the, yeah, the angle on it so you can tell. Chain is heavier than I expected, too. Now let's see if the link on the center here will hold up. Uh... Yeah, you might want to replace this one bit here if you really like the pendant with something else, because it looks like... Not that I think it'll happen easily, but if you pulled on it kind of hard, I think that this part could separate a little bit and come off. If you know what I mean. That's kind of neat. How serrated are the pixels? Just enough that it's actually a very satisfying feeling to run your fingers across. It kind of feels like, uh, like you're running your fingers over the ends of a comb bristle or something. And, well, oh, we've also got our pin. They give you one every month. This is the, uh, I guess it's got Deadpool on it? With two Minecraft swords? I'm not sure if Deadpool does that, but, you know, Deadpool kind of does everything these days, I guess. Yeah, so that's to commemorate that one. And, of course, the shirt. And they ask your shirt size and everything, so it'll be medium for me. Hard to get a good angle on this for the video's sake, but... Well, maybe you better move this over. And we can check this out up top on the, the upper high-res camera. Get a better image. Can you see that okay? That ah, wrong way. It's a little bit of chroma key that's going through a little oddly there. Very colorful shirt, actually. Let's see, we've got a whole amalgamation of different game references on here. So there's... I see a uh, Sonic, I see Donkey Kong, I see... Weird Mega Man version of Star Fox, Pac-Man, Tetris Blocks, N64 controller, it's like a Koopa Shell, and then... It's like Pikachu and some, like, new generation of Ash Ketchum <laughs> playing together. That's pretty neat. Alright. Yeah, not a bad shirt, actually. I could see myself potentially wearing this. I think I like the one from last month's a little bit better, but this one's not bad either. I kind of like that they went in a... I guess it's like a fairly un, unpretentious kind of angle. Like, it's not like they're going after one thing in particular. It's just sort of a variety of different pixel-based things. So if you're a fan of one thing or another, you'll kind of find something you like on it. And the design's not bad either. I kind of wish they didn't have the one-up box thing at the bottom. Especially because it's white, it kind of stands out a bit more there. But, yeah, it's just... I guess they deserve to put their branding on it. <laughs> We need a bumbo shirt. Okay, this is kind of hurting my neck now. <laughs> and of course, don't forget the sheepy. Very cute. But yeah, they send a shirt every single month, I believe. So there's going to be uh, another one in the next one as well. Curious, is the bow tie plastic? Yeah, very much so. It's uh, it's one of those, it's thick, thick plastic. I don't know if you can see sort of that rubbery kind of thing. The front is more of a matte and then the back is a bit glossier, but yeah, it'll rub on your neck a bit in the, these areas here. But you know, if you had something in front of it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother you at all. Of course, you wanna wear your, your proper uh, button-up shirt if you're gonna wear your 8-bit pixelated bow tie, right? Neoprene rubber, is that the word? Okay, well. I didn't know what to call it. Alright, so anyway, that was our September 2015 pixel box. And it was, uh, pretty good. I would say, all things considered, I would like, I would say I like that one a bit better than the August box. Uh, for anybody that might remember that, but, you know, that was decent too. Um, so yeah, if anybody's interested, if anybody liked the look of what was in there, uh, you can feel free to check down below the video. There's a link. You can get your own 1UP boxes. And it's a referral thing, so it actually helps out my channel 
uh, and helps support what I'm doing, as well as gets you, uh, I believe there's a discount for the first few months. So, if anybody's interested, and that was that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Let's do, uh, let's do another one real soon.